Hi guys, what's up? I'm Miro. Welcome to the next part of my series about ISP.NET Core 2. Basically, the application is finished and everything works like expected. But there is always a lot of space for improvements. In this part, we will take a closer look how to validate our data model. As first, we have to define the validation rules. We are going to achieve this with data annotations. So open the data folder, model and author. We are going to validate the name field with three rules. The name has to be required and the length should be between 3 and 50 characters. And that's it. Don't forget to import using system component model data annotations. You can write these rules on top of each other or in comma separated format. The comma separated format looks like this. And this will be everything for this class. In order to keep this example as simple as possible, we will be using only these three validation rules. But is it good to know that there are also more complex validation rules? If we would have phone number property, we could use something like a regular expression as a validation rule. Or email property. And in this case, we could use the email address annotation. But we are not going to use these fields in this application. So I will just remove them. You can remove the whole line with Ctrl X. Okay, because we will use everywhere the same validation rules, I will just copy this free and paste it in book and customer class. Don't forget to import using component model data annotations. And in the book class as well. And this will be everything for this part. Now you know how to implement the validation on your data model. In the next part, we will implement these rules in all our controllers and views. If you don't want to miss any upcoming parts, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And see you in the next video.